This is one useful way to get reporting rates from the system, but we can also do this within pivot tables, charts, and maps as well. One of the disadvantages of getting the reporting rates within the reports app is that we can only select one district or one region at a time. We cannot select multiple districts to show facilities from multiple locations. We can, however, do this in pivot tables and charts. Let's go to pivot table. and select the data sets type. This allows us to select different metrics associated with reporting rates. This includes our reporting rates, reporting rates on time, actual reports, actual reports on time, and expected reports. These are the same metrics that are included within our reports application. Let's select all the metrics for the primary healthcare monthly report. So we'll select the reporting rate, the reporting rate on time, the number of actual reports submitted, the actual reports on time, and the expected reports. Let's just arrange this in an order that makes a little bit more sense to us when we display our output. We can start with the actual number of reports that are submitted, followed by the expected number of reports. This will calculate our reporting rate. Then we can have our actual reports on time, followed by the percentage calculation of our reporting rates on time. We'll then select a period, let's select last year, and then we'll select our organization units. Let's select the facilities within Bird District. We'll just arrange our layout and make sure that our organization units appear. We'll filter out our period because we've only selected one period. Now we'll update the table. In this example, we see that we have the output that is very similar to what's displayed in the reporting application. The same fields are present, all within one district. The advantage when using pivot tables is that we can select all of the organization units within the hierarchy. So for example, if we want to select all of the facilities within Animal Region, we can select Animal Region with our facility level selected and update our table. Now we have the reporting rates for all of the facilities within Animal Region. We could not do this in the reporting rates application. We can then arrange this by the reporting rate. We can quickly see which organization units we might need to follow up on that are missing reports. We can also look at reporting rates in charts and maps, and we encourage you to give that a try.